Hey YouTube, Kiriyama Sparty here with M2372. And we are doing more Green Lantern reviews. Yes, if you watched my last uh, Green Lantern uh, video number 15, um, the moves gesture. Um, <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. We're going to do Green Lantern New Guardians number 15 today. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, New Guardians is focusing a lot around Kyle Rayner right now and him acquiring all the different uh, spectrum powers. Yeah. Uh, this one he focuses on Larflees, uh, which is going to be very interesting. And I actually really like this comic. Uh, New Guardians has always been one of my favorites, along with Red Lanterns, as everyone knows. So I really, really like this one. So we'll hop into it here. Um, it's called The Need for Greed. So... <laughs> I like how they had a rhyme there. Um, basically starts off with some Zamoronians. They're Zamorons, basically. I've seen two different spellings for it, oddly enough. And they're basically a... I wouldn't say a lantern, per se, but they're... They're close. Kind of. They're like a race. They're these glowy alien chicks. They're cool. Mm -hmm. And hot. Um, and basically they're just talking about how the Third Army, and I've gone on about this, we're just calling the Third Army, um, how they've been decimating... Uh, worlds and actually galaxies and they come across the um oh excuse me uh, the spider guild and basically they're like big giant spiders <laughs> and they live on it's basically like a, a ship that's been cocooned in webbing and uh transient materials they're space spiders basically it's actually pretty, it's actually pretty cool and so there's a little caption of that race getting wiped out and annihilated um comes over to planet okara which is where larflees is kind of main bases where the lantern's located mm -hmm. um and basically we have star sapphire green lantern and Arkilo, and it's star sapphire uh carol ferris and uh green lantern uh kyle rayner and basically larflee or larflees is down on the planet and um other than his power he only has one more to get before he can master all the powers and basically he's going to learn greed today and kind of starts off with our kilo kind of giving him a few shots saying that you know he can never wield any of the powers and you see him spin around um kind of like a it's twirly. a caduzzi twirly things like streamers of all his powers kind of showing off so it's pretty cool um then they fall into basically i wouldn't say it's more of a cave it's like a opening like an opening yeah um, and it has uh one of the old old guardians in here now i don't uh remember too much about this guardian but basically she is a female guardian is basically larflees's head con not concubine but like kind of prisoner okay um so basically they're talking to this guardian about uh um you know how he wants to control larflees's power and she's saying you know I, I want you to do this. I want you to make it right. Uh, she was actually in love with Ganthanet. She was Ganthanet's kind of lady. Okay. And when his mind got wiped uh, by the other guardians, because Ganthanet was the only one that felt compassion and could feel everyone else's kind of, you know, like autotomic, uh, like robots almost. Mm -hmm. um, and it goes into a backstory when uh, Kyle Rayner is first chosen by Ganthanet to be a Green Lantern. His ring never actually slipped on his finger. Ganthanet came and said, you're going to be a Green Lantern. So he was kind of like the the odd man out they he's never no ring has ever chosen so he always had difficulties just, they, they think of him like the spoiled kid he was just given pretty much like yeah. that's and a lot of the green lanterns were kind of choked about it so it goes into this and um then it cuts into uh lar fleas and he says i know why you're here and there's no ratchet way i'm playing along uh lar fleas you know portrayed here is kind of almost like a goat uh you know he's pretty cool there um and basically uh, star sapphire you know comes up to him and says you know you know you can't have everything and he says you know what's in it for me when i already have everything i want she says everything let's shine a light on that shall we um star sapphires can basically pinpoint any emotion in your heart any feeling you could be the crustiest bastard and there could be like one moment and they can basically tether they call it onto that and it can take over your entire body so they amplify it basically um they call themselves heart conduits and basically shows them in here um you know he's screaming she's probing his mind and you see little kind of jagged cut scenes of you know her eyes flashing into his mind and his eyes and hers and she goes larflees i i didn't know and you see him cowering on the floor he's crying and actually you turn out to find out that um his entire family was taken away from him you know he got separated from him 
like billions of years ago like our fleas is really old in this comic mm-hmm. um you know it says a billion year old headache and a heartache and she says i will help you find them if you teach kyle how to use you know the orange light and so he finally agrees to doing it he says i'll share and blast kyle with a giant <laughs> energy bolt uh into a wall and he says it uh, really poignantly and I actually agree with this because he's basically aver in our sorry not average greed um, he basically says, you want my power, you have to take it, you have to want it. And then he basically, him and Kyle, you know, basically go at it, trade blows uh, a few times. Kyle um, conjures rage as one of his uh, powers and blasts him with some napalm breath, um, channels compassion. Um, basically, that one there is the Indigo Tribe, and they can uh, uh, teleport almost. They okay. just kind of zip from one area to the other. Um and he actually goes right over to the lantern and Larflees sends all these constructs. Larflees is basically one lantern controlling an giant, a giant core. So he has all that power as opposed to like split up a bunch of lanterns. Oh. And he conjures up uh, like, like beings, um, basically they're lantern or orange lanterns, but of his construct. They're always called constructs and they're never the same twice. It's always what's in his mind. And he attacks them with that. Um, you see again, on this one here, the third army finally come into play on this one. They come in on every comic, it seems. Mm-hmm. And they're attacking him. So you finally see Larflee starting to fight for himself with the other three lanterns. Or, sorry, yeah, three other lanterns. Mm-hmm. Um, because, you know, of this really great evil. And then the uh, other guardian comes in and basically says, you know, how the hell is this possible that these... Uh, that these you know, members are here, you know, what's going on. They're from Guardian Flesh. So they, she says, keep back lanterns. If they're touch, if they touch you, you are doomed. So basically they just stay away and let her do most of the work. They kind of do the mm-hmm. uh, side shots, whatever. Um, and then it jumps into here, uh, going over with uh, the Guardian again as well, basically saying that, um, Kyle, you have no choice. You have to use your that orange lantern because Kyle never wanted to in the first place. He was going, I don't need it. So he finally connects the lantern and then he turns into this. I it, you look it up, look it up on the comic, but he's like this kind of demony creature. His jaw is really long, kind of looks like he's a crocodile. Teeth. He's got fucked up hands. Yeah, um, I gotta show that. Yeah. Uh, it's right there. Yeah, a little bit right there. Yeah. But anyways, he even says, "Ha." Huh, why the hell didn't I want this? I damn sure want it now. So he just instantly takes to it. So now he's acquired the orange light. He can now channel that. Um, and then Larflees immediately jumps on and goes, Lego, you can't have it all. And the Guardian interrupts both of them, screaming, basically saying, no, help Larflees before Lantern Rainer is utterly lost to us. Uh, Kyle, when he gets that much greed, and then he starts getting lost, and they basically said, you know, we have to help him or he's going to go like mad with power and like Lord Fleas did. So Carol Ferris shoots him with an energy bolt <laughs> and basically what happens is Arkilo comes up to save uh, Carol Ferris out of all things and says, where do these things come from? What do they want? I can feel them trying to convert me. So, you know, he's basically finally joining on the core because he was so pissed at Sinestro for leaving the yellow lanterns. Mm-hmm. And then... Kyle Rayner eventually kind of succumbs to all of this and uh, sees the other guardian, the last guardian there, getting crushed to death and basically saying, you must go now, Kyle, or uh, Lantern Rayner. I cannot hold him much longer. This is the only way. Um, I'm counting on you to save my beloved. Again, she was in love with Ganthanet, and mm-hmm. they're trying to save him. So they all teleport out, and the end here, it basically shows... Um, the Guardians looking from their sanctum of the Guardians of the Universe, is what they call it, and they're basically watching um, that lantern, including Ganthanet's watching this as well, watching um, his beloved and that female lantern get slaughtered to death. She was never converted. So mm-hmm. they kind of said that was your punishment for turning turning your back on us and um, being captured by Larflees. So, And then Ganthanet is basically asked, you know, is there something wrong? He says, not a thing. I guess her name's Sayed, S-A-Y-D, so however you want to pronounce that, um, paid the price for indulging in sentiment. And then he even says at the very end, as for my wayward lantern, I shall end him myself. He's referring to Kyle Rayner. Uh, so hopefully in the next one, there's going to be a guardian 
Green Lantern battle, and that might stem into something where all the powers are used together. So, mm. Next is Kyle versus Gantanet on here, so that waits to be seen on oh, there. But uh, Yeah, I really like this. It's a really good comic. Uh, I like the new Guardian series a lot. I really, really like um, the plots and storylines in this and how they're expanding on each different Lantern core and all those things like that. So... Um, I really like it. I definitely give this one 10 out of 10 easy. It's really good. I like it a lot. Um, sorry if it was a little rushed. It would, this would have been a two-parter, but... Yeah. How much time do we got? Oh, we got like four minutes left. Oh, four minutes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. It was it was going to be a two-parter, but I wanted to kind of get through these and get them out of the way. I'm also going to be doing uh, next week a Tower review. It's called The Tower Chronicles um, mm -hmm. with John Tower. It's these this three-part... Uh, Ooh, mini series. <laughs> so I'll Before do the review for the first one and the second one next week, um, if we can, with it being Christmas and all that other fun crap. Yeah. But um, yeah, we should be able to make it work because I think we're we'll in Comic Day's Boxing Day. So. Yeah. So if we we may maybe we were a day late, but you know it's it Boxing Day. Break. You guys, are, you know, um, Sarah and you know all of us, we're all going to be doing our shopping. So. Um, <laughs> you guys be playing with your shiny new toys out there in YouTube land and interwebs. Watch us on your iPads. And yes, new I actually want to get an iPad. I'm just, I'm decided if it's going to be the big one or the small one, but I play guitar and bass, so I, yeah, it's got a lot if of I got some bigger flaps. screen, but yeah, I don't know. I'm going to see that. That's my thing is the we'll iPad. Yeah. And we will also be doing reviews next week. If the world doesn't end. Oh shit. It's going to end tomorrow or some no, shit. Right? Technically it's five. 11 a.m. on Friday morning. See, why are they going to make like, that specific? Really? Oh. It's a Mayan calendar. But that, that's oh. what it is. We're not, you know, saying it is or not, but it's whatever you guys believe, but we just want to poke, kind of poke We will that. see you guys next Wednesday. Yes. We're, that's, that's what we'll say. We will see you guys next Wednesday. And if somebody does find this... Know that we hate you all. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, I'm M2372. Kiri, I'm a smart up. Subscribe, comment, favorite, do all that fun like shit. Like button. Like button. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, have a good night, guys. And stuff. Balls. <laughs> <laughs>